Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill Wyeth with the American Orthodontic Society. And uh, I want to talk to you about doing all kinds of orthodontics. If you just go in and do everything that comes across the uh, board, you will cover this, the whole deal if you stay in there long enough. And in this particular situation, we got an oversized tongue, but the person had a huge jaw, and they had more room than the teeth could fill. And so we had to try to fill up the space with the teeth they had, and uh, we would do some a partial denture and close up part of it, and I added two teeth up in the anterior uh, to fill in extra cuspid teeth. And uh, it looked really good when we uh, got through with the case. So just uh, watch this and uh, go along with me and we'll see how this works out. Uh, let me see if it, I'll probably have to, uh, uh, arrow here so we can show it. Now, the lady's facial structure is definitely straight. It's, uh, it's could be filled out a little bit without uh, bothering the effect and the height of the uh, incisal edge is good and this is good from here up here so the facial structure is good and lets us do a lot of things in here that we would want to do. And you look at it from this side, we can increase this a little, and that won't bother us at all. And this is probably going to increase slightly as we uh, do this. Uh, let's go here. If you look, she opens her mouth, and you've got a little diastema right in here. And you've also got space over on this side, and I think there's some back on the other side. We'll look at that, yes. There's space all the way around in the between the centrals, and down on the bottom, we've got caps down here. And uh, on the other side of the mouth, the caps even a little, look like they're a little bit bigger over there. So, what we decided to do is to just take everything and bunch it together in the upper and get it as close as we can. But we didn't have enough room to do that. So we're going to open it up and put some extra teeth in here. And that will make us bunch this together and then bunch these together. And this, and we'll have a retainer with it in large cuspid in that area right there. So let's just watch it as it goes along. Of course we feel that get somebody to feel that tooth there. Now on the bottom we have this big cap in here. So we'll push this tooth back and push these teeth forward and close this up and open this space up something like that. And we just take these teeth and bring them and close them in that space right there. So there's all sorts of things you can do to a person's teeth. And just because they're a certain age doesn't hurt. You could do this on somebody that's 75 or 80 years old. If they had good bone structure, you could do the same thing on this case. So let's go ahead and look. Now she had a little uh, tooth. We're going to put a tooth in this space here. Right here. She had a, I think she's got a little jaw joint problem. So here's, we push these together and we open that space up. And uh, I'm not mistaken, this is the false tooth that we put in there. You know, the central, which we have had to reach around. And, a lateral. This is a false tooth and the cuspid back here in this area. And we did a 
person did the same thing on the other side of the mail. You'll see that they came over here, put the lamb on the six foot together, and put a large false tooth in this space right here and push this one back. But this one is the artificial tooth. And her tongue kept all this together and kept it in the front part of the mouth. Now down on the bottom we'll close this and we'll reach, close that space there and we'll close from the side and we're going to open this gap here and make it wider and push this tooth back push these all around over here. Let's uh, look at it, what's happened. So we're going to straighten this tooth up and catch this uh, back in here and we're going to move these forward over here and here we're pushing this back uh, so we can put a, an extra cusping in that area. Now here we use a step down arch and open that space up you see and we straighten these legs out there and move it together more and we lace these teeth to train them over in a group, try to get them together. All right, there's, there's the upper uh, teeth, and there we are with the artificial teeth. We've got one here and one here. It's hard to see them sometimes. Uh, and that closed all this and her tongue structure fit all of this. She had an oversized tongue, but she had her jaw room and space in the facial structure for it to work out. So here is the lower. Now we're going to push all this up, close this, and you'll have a gap in here. And show this tooth back and this one forward. And you can close this space. So here is the lower with a bigger gap here, closed up the space all the way around. We're going to have to watch that spot right there. Now that's the side, the right side of the mouth with a mirror in it. You can see the, the molar teeth fitting right in there. And we had a little problem with the jaw joint, so we moved the jaw forward slightly to help that. And you can see, you see that on the uh, transcranial. We brought this forward just slightly uh, to relieve the problem with the jaw joint problem there. And you can go through this and study a little more careful. We went ahead and everything worked out fine on the jaw joint. We had a war splint for a little bit and bring it the jaw in a forward position. And here now is, is the uh, age 33 years. And we're going to move this back under these teeth, move this forward and close these. Open up space here, open up space here, and then bring this all together in this area. <coughs> this is something you would just have to figure out for yourself what would be the best solution for this problem that comes about. And we decided that would be it. We straighten this up, but this tooth is going to be pushing back here to meet that tooth a little bit and hold it in place. And if we crowd it and bring it back a little bit further. Now here we're bringing it back. And this is the facial structure now and we finish up. And here we, that's not a bad, uh, the picture didn't take in focus good. So there we are, and there's a gap on both sides, 
and looking at it straight on. Now here, we put a retainer in there, and this is a false tooth, and this is a false tooth here, and we're going to push this around a bit, try to get that closed up there, or else we're going to fill it in with some filling material. And it looks to be closed there, and we increase this space, you see. And now we take these bands off and bring these two forward from the back. So maybe you get an idea of what you can do. Just work out the best problem you can think about. If this were your mouth or your wife or your daughter or whatever, what could you do that would help them the most? And so we make the retainer to go in there with it. And you get somebody to fix that tooth right there. And you'll have a beautiful set of teeth that they may keep the rest of their life. And they'll have to bridge this across here. It just ends up with one bridge. And when they make the crown go back, they catch this upper tooth and come down against that. Just a little bit to hold it in place. So this is, is my own feeling of how I could fix this lady's teeth. Get them to where they look good the whole way around. And I think that's the last picture we've got on that. And that's the way the teeth look. I think we did get this closed together right there. So thanks for watching. And the things you might could do in a situation like that is just, I mean, we're going to put a couple of crowns or bridges off of these, or you can put implants or bridges or whatever you want to do to fix those. And you have a partial if you want to just put the teeth on a partial and you've got one down here you'd have to put in. Thanks for watching. I'm going to close out now and uh, just remember you can, you've got something here to do and just do the best you possibly can for that person as if it were yourself and you won't make too many mistakes like that. So thanks for watching and I'm going to hang up here and I hope you will subscribe to our channel now. So I will stop.